20 years after, publicize your investigations on Bola Ige's death, Shonika asks Buhari. Unsolved crimes only lead to a culture of impunity, said Professor Wale Shonika on the 20th anniversary of Chief Bola Ige, the former Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice. On the 23rd of December 2001, Ige was shot dead at his country home in the southwestern city of Ibadan. Many were arrested and tried for the involvement in the murder, but were acquainted afterwards. As at this moment, the killers are yet to be found. However, 20 years later, Shonika queried President Muhammad Buhari to make public the outcome of his investigations on Bola Ige's death. In a letter he addressed to Mrs. Folunsho Adegbola, daughter of late Ige, Shonika condemned what he called the spate of political murders, asking President Muhammad Buhari what happened to his promise of opening inquiry into the spate of murders in the country the country has witnessed in recent years. 20th year of Bola Ige Memorial Symposium, two decades of injustice. What are the implications on Nigerian democracy? Organized by Bola Ige for Justice Center. The event witnessed prominent personalities that spoke against injustices in the country. The message read, My dear Funcho, an 11th hour sadly insurmountable impediment, alas, prevents my joining you on this bitter sweet occasion. Bitter for obvious reasons, but also a source of joy since it provides yet another opportunity for celebrating the passage of a remarkable individual, your late father. Th through the lives of the rest of us yet living, let us be unstinting in our sustaining reminiscences. I particularly regret my absence as it provides a mandatory inescapable occasion for directing a question at the nation's current leader, President Buhari. A demand that the entire nation, no matter the political inclination, of her citizens is morally obliged to make. My message proceeds. President Muhammad Buhari, what has become of your robust pledge to open an inquiry into the spate of political murders that the nation has undergone in recent years? Does it all amount to yet another instance of political bravado? While we all accept that all lives should be valued equally, some impose a special responsibility on those in governance. Bola Ige, as the nation's Minister of Justice and United Nations civil servant designate, was unarguably one such. A nation's honor is in question and reman remains so until the hour of closure. Thus, she must never relent in demanding an explanation for his brutal murder. Expose the perpetrators, identify the conspirators, and reinstate the broken lines of justice. At the very least, we need a formal declaration regarding those who displayed an abnormal interest in the fates of those accused to a level of proven, documented interference both in the investigative process and within the judiciary. I'm not alone in having written and lectured on these sordid aspects that afford the subversion of justice. There are surviving witnesses. Unsolved crimes only lead to a culture of impunity. This puts the entire nation at risk, no matter the privilege of high-level protection. This is a lesson that Nigerian leadership has yet to learn. President Buhari, share the rewards of your investigations if any, Wale Shoinka. Wale Shoinka is well respected. He's a Nobel laureate. We know that um, he's well respected, not um, even uh, nationally, but um, internationally as well. He's written a lot of books that has uh, gotten awards all across the globe. He's the one who is um, putting out um, this message to President Mohamed Buhari. He's asking President Mohamed Buhari, telling him to publicize his investigations on Bola Ige's death. Bola Ege was killed sadly um, about 20 years ago. About 20 years ago, he was shot on the 23rd of December 2001. 
by what we call unknown gunmen now because their faces they were not identified we still don't know who gave the order who was behind it who masterminded everything and uh uh, Wale Shonika is stating that uh, Buhari promised that he was going to investigate, but 20 years down the line, is nothing has come up. We've not heard any name, no face um, to that um, incident. So it was um, during um, the 20th anniversary organized for him as the former Attorney General of the Federation and also Minister of Justice. It was during that program he wrote to Bolaige's daughter, Funsho, and um, expressing or appreciating Bolaige, all Bolaige did for the nation and even after 20 years he's still being felt he's still being remembered and told the daughter that you know what i have a question for the president and this is the question i have that the president um, has to explain to nigerians what has become of the robust pledge because buhari made this pledge that he was going to open an inquiry into the spate of our political mothers he was going to even the past ones because of late we've been seeing that uh, uh, killings have been happening we're witnessing insecurity but if we look at the political scene killings have been happening as well and if Buhari keeps quiet that means something is amiss he's saying that he's telling Buhari that share the rewards of your investigations if you have any that's if you've even made any attempt if you've made any attempt, I know president, uh, presidency will jump at this because they always have a word, they always have a reply. We'll wait to see what they're going to say to Wale Shonika. Wale Shonika is serious about this. He wrote this letter open so that everyone will see it. That uh, at least if we know that there's anything like justice in the, in the country because Buhari preaches unity, um, inclusiveness, that is what he claims. Well, Nigerians know that all of those things he's mentioning, they don't exist in Nigeria. They don't. That is why these agitations, they keep rising. There is no justice anywhere. Injustice is all over. It's in the surface, all over. If we see the way he's treating even the, the agitations, the two major agitators right now, Nam Kano and Sunday Igbo, no justice anywhere. And the sort of uh, privileges is given to bandits and terrorists, Fulani headsmen. That doesn't sound like justice. No justice, no fairness, no uh, uh, inclusiveness in his government. Wale Shonika is telling him that if you, anything, you if you are really preaching about this justice system and that the judiciary is in good shape, then you need to um, open up this investigation to everyone. Let it be open to everyone. Let everyone see how far you have come. Publicize it, at least publicize your investigation on Bola Ige's death. Well, we'll wait to see what presidency will reply. Leave us your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. So I come your way again on more updates. Bye.